Hibernate 4.3 with JPA 2.1 example. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how you can integrate Hibernate and JPA and then create a symbol program to insert the data into the database. You can connect to the MySQL database and execute the query create database and in the program we are using a table called products and this is the query to create the product. This is the entity which maps to the product table and since this is the ID primary key of this table is uh, auto increment type we have used the uh, at the rate ID ID annotation to mark this primary key field private int id as a primary key and the generated value is the generation type entity so the responsibility of generating the primary key is on the mysql now and this is the product name variable which is mapped to product name of the table similarly product description is mapped to the product underscore description and this double stock quantity is mapped to a stock underscore quantity and this is the price mapped to the price and so on then in the application we should have persistence.xml here we are using org hibernate gpa hibernate persistence provider and the model class mapped is net.rosindia.model.product and dialect uses its hibernate mysql dialect and it is connecting to the jpa table driver class name is com.mysql.jdbc driver username is root password is root and this persistent unit is defined here and the name of persistent unit is ps unit 1 to execute the example we need to create the persistence uh, entity manager factory and this is the code to create the factory persistence dot create entity manager and the persistence is defined in javax dot persistent dot persistence then we are getting the entity manager from the factory then beginning the transaction creating the object of product setting the values and finally calling em dot persist so em is entity manager it provides a method called persist which takes the argument of which takes the argument which is the entity and here in this case it is product and then it is saving into the database and we are finally we are committing the transaction and closing the entity manager if you want to run this project on the dust command you should first compile using mvn compile and to execute you should call the mvn exec colon java and with this parameter so net.rosindia.app test is the name of this class which shows you how to insert the data and here is the output of the program you can download the code from here I have downloaded the code already and it is with me and uh, I'll show you how you can run in Eclipse. This is the zip file of the project and to import go to the Eclipse then call, click on import existing Maven project then enter the name of the project directory it is showing the project now finish and this is the project so here we can run as ambient
uh, dependency in this project is managed by uh, see this is the test file which is created we, we can just delete it now the project is here and uh, model class is here then we have the persistence class which is defined here persistent.xml it is defining persistent unit and the uh, high variant persistence provider then the product which is the model in this project and it is connected to GPA this is the driver class root password then see which dependency we are using we are using the dependency like uh, Java Enterprise API 7.0 JavaX, Java E, API 7.0, then we are using JNIT, JSON API, then Jackson API, JSON API, then uh, this pers Eclipse pers persistence. This Eclipse persistence is not required, we can commit. Since we are using the Hibernate and this is the Hibernate Entity Manager 4.3.0 final. Then we have MySQL Connector Hibernate 4.3.0 final. Other libraries. So everything is fine and uh, we can run the example. So before running this, we this is the table and uh, uh, we can delete all the data from here. all the previous data from here so now I don't have don't have any data here now we can run this uh, app test I just added so that uh, program which run as Java application and this is the insert into products query and it is data inserted so let's check the data refresh it is inserted if we run it once again so another record is inserted so this way you can integrate Struts to with the JPA API and then use JPA API to perform the insert operation. You can get the source code from here and in the video description I have provided the URL to reach at this page. We have thousands of tutorials on uh, Hibernate and Java programming language, you can visit our website and learn from these tutorials. Thanks for watching the video and visit our website to check more tutorials.